Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you our preview of the 2015 Camping World Independence Bowl between the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and the Virginia Tech Hokies. And we're going to start this video off with some keys to victory for both teams, starting with Tulsa. Starting with Tulsa in this ball game, they can't be afraid to go max protection in a passing game. 36 sacks given up on the season, that's not going to cut it versus a Virginia Tech Hokie defense. And they also have to own the special teams department. I think this is the aspect of the game that they have to win. They can give a little bit on offense or defense, but they have to win the special teams battle and no second chances. That's at the line of scrimmage, that's out on the flanks with the 50-50 balls. They have to make sure they win when they have these opportunities to win in order to knock off Virginia Tech. Moving over to Virginia Tech in this ballgame, I think getting Ryan Malik, the tight end, involved in the offense early could lead them to success. I think they have a chance to have some success in the intermediate area in the passing game, and I think that falls right into the lap of Ryan Malik. And they also have to win those individual matchups. This is more for the defensive side of the football. They're going against two outstanding wide receivers, one in Kiara's Garrett, the big play wide receiver for Tulsa, 6'4", 220. If they can win those individual matchups out there on the flanks, they can win this ball game, and they have to turn up the pressure. Again, this is an offensive line that has given up 36 sacks on the season. That's an opportunity for Virginia Tech to get extra aggressive. I like Virginia Tech in this ball game. While both offenses, I believe, will go through their bouts of inconsistencies in this contest, the one thing you can count on is Tulsa's defense giving up the big play. So I think that's a way Virginia Tech will have enough points at the end to knock off the Golden Hurricane. Now we have the Independence Bowl, and you got Tulsa going up against Virginia Tech and what's going to be Coach Frank Beamer's last game. I can't imagine the uh, locker room speech before that game. I'm sure they're going to come out fired up, and they're going to need to. My X Factor for Virginia Tech is actually going to be the freshman cornerback, Adonis Alexander. He has four interceptions, 6'3", 197. He'll need every bit of that size to go against Tulsa wide receiver Kiaris Jarrett, who is a guy I really like. 6'4", 203 pounds. You talk about someone who knows how to use their big body on the perimeter. And I think that matchup right there between bigger corner and bigger receiver is going to be the X factor. He's a guy that can be a red zone threat. You know, they, they throw the ball to him uh, out, over top of the numbers on, on the nine routes. And, and he just has an uncanny ability to get himself to the football, use his body and his strong hands and catch the football. So it's going to be a good matchup between him and uh, Adonis Alexander. In a perfect world, we will see Kendall Fuller in this game, but obviously he's out for the season with the injury. He will be leaving Virginia Tech. But you look at this game, and I, that's the matchup. I mean, it's hard to, to pick anything else uh, as far as I'm concerned, so I'm really looking forward to that matchup. My X Factor is going to be Kiaris Garrett and Adonis Alexander. I have Tulsa winning this football game. I think they're going to be able to uh, throw the ball against uh, Virginia Tech. So give me Tulsa. I have them winning 28-17. to The Independence Bowl hits a team that's not too far away in Tulsa against a team that's probably going to play their heart out for their coach as he's retiring after an illustrious career, Virginia Tech. Now for VTech, they have quite a few guys that you might want to look out for. Right now, the tight end out of Virginia Tech is a guy who gets some looks. Wade Henson, an offensive tackle. And here's a guy who might not be an NFL prospect in some respects, but watch out for him. This is one of those guys that's sneaky, that could sneak onto a roster. Michael Brewer, quarterback out of Virginia Tech. Reason being, he is scrappy. He is one of the toughest quarterbacks in the nation, and he deserves some respect. Kiaris Garrett out of Tulsa is a big-time threat at wide receiver, and he is a guy who is going to give Virginia Tech fits. Remember, they'd love to have Kendall Fuller to try to take care of him. I think he's still injured, though. On the defensive side of the ball, Virginia Tech, as usual, has guys all over the place. Luther Matty. 
the defensive tackle who can probably play the five technique on the next level is big time. And even though he's undersized, he can get the job done. Corey Marshall, another defensive end coming off the edge for Virginia Tech, is also active. And Deion Clark, the outside linebacker, should get some looks as well. For Tulsa, Michael Madu, strong safety, should get a look or two as well as he tries to combat that offense from Virginia Tech. I think that this is Beamer's game. I think that they play tough for him, even though Tulsa matches up well. I have Virginia Tech winning 24-21.